All right, so today I'm going to be presenting about police discrimination. Um, how many of us here are minorities? <laughs> um, have any of you ever faced discrimination? Anyone want to give a quick two-second story? You and me both. <laughs> oh, that's hard. <laughs> All right, so first thing I'm going to do is show you guys a video, and then we're going to go into the problems of discrimination, some of the solutions that are being done already, and some of the ones that I've come up for myself, well, that I've come up with, and the benefits of solving the problem. All right, so as we can all tell, the problem is that cops believe to, for minorities or, according to the video, black people to be scary and be monsters. Um, according to the NYPD, they did, um, they released some information on stop and frisk. 50% of the cases involved minorities. From the year 2007 to the year 2008, the number of reported cases increased 11,069. Um, did, did anyone ever hear about the Alan Sh Seegers um, case? Pretty much it was a man who got pulled over for just the sole purpose of being black. Um, it, he brought to court the case that he was being discriminated, discriminated against and considered it racial profiling. He brought enough um, information for the court to see that the officer really was racial, racially profiling him. And ever since then, uh, cops were no longer allowed to use the computers in their cop cars to um, look up someone's background solely based, based on the purpose of them being of a different color. Um, two of my personal encounters with discrimination was um, once I got pulled over, um, and the first thing the cop asked me was if I have any razor blades or box cutters in my pocket from work, insinuating the fact that since I'm Spanish, I have to work in a factory. Um, one of my second encounters was actually directly in front of my high school. And it wasn't a riot, but it was kind of like the school was going a little crazy and the police had to show up. And I was in a crowd of about six or seven white people, and I was the only person of color. I completely kept my mouth shut, didn't say anything to the cops. One of my friends, who was the only one talking back to the cops, got let go, and I was the one who got questioned and my ID taken and my background checked. <clears throat> um, another thing here is the COPPAC, the Center on Police Practices and Committee, Community. 313 randomly chosen police patrol cars got their videos checked. Um, the video showed that based on the people's race that um, they got pulled over in different manners. Um, example A, black drivers are more likely to experience extensive policing during the stop. B, the communication of quality of white drivers was on average more positive than that of the black drivers. And C, officers' communication behavior was more positive than the officers and driver were of the same race. These are obviously just examples of why 
and how we see discrimination in the police force. Um, this is just a little picture. Racial profile, I'm gonna start early. Um, different solutions. Because of the Alan Seeger's case, um, new policies were put into place. Um, cops aren't allowed to no longer use their computers racial, pro for racial profiling. Um, Judge Mary L. Cooper of the United States of the United States District Court of New Jersey. Um, she was actually put into place to oversee and enforce illegal settlement on racial discrimination. Um, pretty much she oversaw and made sure that the New Jersey police, um, state police were going through the processes and the new training so that um, discrimination happens less. Um, the 14th and 4th Amendments were also passed, which help us against the invasion of uh, the government on our rights. For example, um, your right to um, life and prosperity. They can't take that away from you if you feel like you've been infringed, if your rights have been infringed upon. Those are your two best arguments in court. Um, there's already groups and organizations in schools, such as, um, for example, in my school, there was Power of Peace, Peer to Peer, Heroes and Cool Kids, which is pretty much just groups talking about diversity and how everyone should be equal. Some of the benefits are everyone will be seen as equal. The promised improvements including new training and new system for civ civilian complaints. Someone will be overseeing the state police in New Jersey to make sure there's no discrimination. And John Corzon, the governor of New Jersey, um, put into place a special advisory committee to oversee that New Jersey state police had to go through their uh, tr new training and the new facilities so that it's less likely for them to discriminate. Um, that's just a couple, wait, where's the other thing? I don't know where the other pictures went, but um, here's a quote. I have a dream that my four little children, children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. We all know that's Martin Luther King. And we're at the point in our lives right now where we are the generation of change. And this could hopefully someday happen, but we all need to work together and fight for what is right. And if you could just stand up for something that you're being discriminated against on, it, that's, one just, that's just one step closer for us to be living in this perfect world. The per racial profile. Um, well, the purpose of me having this presentation was so that my fellow minorities, we would go out and fight against those that discriminate us. For example, when I was telling you guys about what happened in front of my school, um, I actually got the newspaper to come down and to interview people about it. And we had, because of that, the school decided that we needed to have a big meeting between students and police officers. So there was a group of about six of us who sat in about three meetings with the police officers. And they talked about why certain things happened. They didn't only arrest people in front of my school. They pulled out mace and threatened people. So things got really crazy and we had our meetings. Nothing really got resolved because cops don't listen to people, but <laughs> Wendy? Yeah. 